Oh, 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 fish on, fish on, oh, oh. What do you got? Fish gets the net, it's a shrimp. It's a shrimp. That's the, net. That's the elusive Mobile River shrimp. Ah, oh, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Ah, yeah. Yeah. Look. Nicely done. Should I kiss it? Should I kiss it? Yeah, Dude, that was great. Do you have cocktail? Do you need some cocktail sauce? Tell everybody. It's getting better, uh, giant. We know it's giant. We ain't got time for that today. Cause we got somewhere we're about to go. Big dreams that take us far away. Here we go. I don't like to fish, I like to rest. You know what I mean? So when you throw that line in, it's not about fishing, it's about wrestling. So you, you better get the fish. Blow it up like camera rays. Free ourselves from time and space. Count it down and fly away. And actually see your outfit, kind yeah. of. Yeah. Kind of. You kind of. I do this. I go like this because our mirror is here. I kind of go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know what? It turns out you're on the top of the list. Yeah, okay. Right. I just, okay. All right. Yeah. That's a nice tape gun. Wow. Oh, Ooh, butter. Wow. Butter. Butter. Come out of your paycheck, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Where you need to be in life. Yeah. And it all starts at Techno RV. <laughs> so, yeah, I this feel is like where I'm your really... life begins. <laughs> yeah. Right now. Leave all your troubles. Take back control. We ain't got time for that today. Right now, though, we're gonna go up to the Clements rig, and we are gonna give you a tour of a gorgeous front living solitude. Just the window in the front is the coolest thing. Yeah. So they're way up there and they can still see the ocean through mm -hmm. their front living room. But mm -hmm. we said we don't want to see anymore mm -hmm. <laughs> because we wanted to do the tour together yes. so we could ooh and all over it together. So let's go do it. Hello. Knock, knock. <coughs> oh, is that guard dogs? Hello, guard dogs. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hold on, stay there. Okay. This is the window I was telling you about. Yeah, it's, it's amazing. so cool. So sometimes people tend to go towards bunkhouses when you have kids and teens and things like that. But when you are out weekending it, it or you're going out on a long trip, mm -hmm. I think this is genius. Yeah. Because you've got tons of place to sit and chat and live. And then at nighttime, the beds come out. So they're sleeping arrangements. Well, one of the things that Clements were telling us last night is when they had a bunkhouse, mm -hmm. they all couldn't like watch a show. Oh, yeah, so now that makes sense. they have a lot of living room, and then what they particularly like about the solitude is that they can close the curtain. Can I? Can I get a name? Oh, um, Mark. <laughs> Ooh, ah. Uh, I know the. Clements. How's that spelled? It's with a C. Okay, what size it's, bed is this? It's a king. RV king. It keeps uh, getting it's better. Giant. It's giant. You've got some solid beddies going on yeah, on here. Yeah. Okay. For Is that anybody, what you have? They're beddies. Yes. Betties. Anybody that hasn't um, seen these yet, you have to look into it. We don't have any, no. but I think we no. might look into it as well. But yeah, anyway, you can zip the top layer, right? Yeah, the whole top layer. It's the coolest thing because if you have an RV, normally you're doing the bunny hop, right? Mm -hmm. to trying to tuck yeah. things in. So what is this? Is this a 10 inch mattress? It's 12. 12. And you think you wanted the 10? Yeah. Yeah. It's a little, it's a little thick. But, you know, oh, that's it. Isn't okay. that cool? So then when you unzip it, it still goes over you. Yeah, because it's got that extra little and it covers the zipper and everything. I can say this is stunning. Isn't it though? It's amazing. Okay, but this is only one bath. There is a half bath mm -hmm. as well. Yeah. And how has that revolutionized your life? Huge. Yeah. yeah. I mean, with five people mm -hmm. and the one tiny bathroom and the travel trailer. Mm -hmm. There was always somebody waiting. I need to brush my teeth. I need to do this. And one person at a time would fit. And clearly, yeah. a few people can occupy that one. Mm -hmm. Okay, but I love what they're like. They're actually starting to get super attractive. They are. They, they, Before, it was just like an RV bathroom. Yeah. Now we're talking about fancy sinks, yes, it is beautiful glass, shower heads. I will say we changed out the shower head, that the handheld. Yes. It just used so much water. Oh, so really? we changed it out for the Oxygenix one that uses much less. Smart. It wasn't practical for any type of boondocking. And this is washer and dryer behind you. Oh. Stop. Is it in there? Yeah. Oh, wow. Wow. 
that's a great location for it. I want Alice and Eric to tell us about their refrigerator. <laughs> okay? Uh, yeah. Because, and look at this stove. They're yes. not, we're not on the road here. We are practically in a full-size kitchen. It is. It cooks. I have gas at home, and it cooks as well as, if not better, than my gas stove at home. It looks good. It looks yeah, I mean, it, and it's the oven's much larger than a typical RV yeah. oven. So I've been very pleased with it. And you got a residential fridge, residential. Yeah. but you don't quite know how bad the battery situation That's is right. yet, right? right? Tons of room. And then our, our, our favorite, yeah, our favorite feature <laughs> is right here. Ice. Ice. <laughs> yep. The pantry is it's great, but it's not huge. I mean, I it's fine. It's just not huge because you lose you know a lot of it to these drawers. Well, let's let me let's pop over to the airstream. <laughs> we'll show you our pantry. <laughs> And then come back. Okay. We, okay. We, we were spoiled by the, <laughs> the reflection. The reflection. Oh, we were spoiled by the reflection too. We were completely spoiled by the reflection. It's definitely now. bigger. Yes. I don't know how they did that magic. Yeah, I don't that know. It's very well it's the, engineered. It's the Mary Poppins yes. purse. You know, you open the door and yeah, you keep it's pulling just, stuff out. Yes. Fantastic. There was it's a amazing. lot of things about the reflection, especially for the price point, where every yeah. rig we got after that we would always compare sure. it to the reflection, oh, yeah. right? Yeah. So yeah. Mm -hmm. I call it the minivan of RVs because yeah. it's oh, just good. so so practical mm -hmm. and it Agreed. had the space. I mean, I had the media closet and the coffee bar and yeah. the yeah. kitchen coffee island and the fireplace. Yeah, yeah. It, it's a great, great rig. I mean, when typically I think when we upgraded the momentum and you've now upgraded the solitude, you get things that you just can't get. I mean, you. I mean, we're going to see outside in that storage. It's, an, yeah. it's insane, right? And you just can't get the space. Yeah. And that's, that was the main thing with five of us. We just needed a little more space. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, and everybody's getting taller. You know, yes. how it's like all of a sudden everybody leaves elementary school and mm -hmm. then middle school is like a little bit and then high school is like <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and you're looking at a bunch of adults yes they're as yeah. tall or taller than me mm -hmm. so yeah. if you catch anything a reflection is a great, a great place, place to, to it be. really is and then you get all kinds of accoutrements as mm -hmm. you go up yep right. so and what we like about the airstream is that it's kind of light and tight but mm -hmm. we lose all of the things like counter space and things like that we don't so, really use storage surprisingly we have surprisingly, a lot of storage we do. but but we counter space and comfort are totally low on the list low they're low on the list of benefits mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I guess yeah everything's a trade-off it's just yeah. one or the other and mm -hmm. you learn to what what you're willing to make do with and what you have to have yeah work. now we have plenty of storage for how we travel but speaking of storage let's go outside and see mm -hmm. this like mammoth amount of storage yes. door number three is, is my favorite oh my god have this big open wow. area this is a six foot i believe and it slides out it's just uh but look mark this is what alice said you could take that net down yeah you take the net down and it actually goes all the way up so you could put like a stand-up paddleboard or kayaks and all sorts right. of do you have any idea how many feet it is uh it is 12 feet to the wall and you can cut it out it's open i've looked behind the wall it's open two more feet you're not supposed to look behind the wall <laughs> we had we needed to for undisclosed reasons <laughs> we've got this and this is similar to that momentum it is just oh, one wow. big area it does pass through it does but so this would be a great place for a battery bank or do you still have the place up front there's still the spot up front so you put the 5500 watt um own in there mm -hmm. that's exactly right gotcha and it's all prepped so you could start it from inside and the yeah. control panel and gotcha stuff. it's with the chucking uh, by, it's by moride it just softens that back and forth chucking so it's a, just bit. an add-on that goes it right is. in here well they, and it's now standard on all solid oh it is okay and above. gotcha yeah i haven't seen it. I, I don't think we can not talk about the truck <laughs> Um, I think you have to direct the camera over here because Alice seems to like driving the truck. <laughs> yeah? I would actually rather tow this rig than the travel trailer. Really? Yes. And then, of course, the turning radius is yes, amazing. Yes, it's huge. I actually, he let me drive it first. Can you believe that? Like, out, He's a of, smart the, man. out of the parking lot <laughs> of the dealership. That's a smart man. He let me drive it first. And I pulled out of the parking spot and I was like, oh, it turns so sharp. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
it's the not. beast mm -hmm. <laughs> comes with these big rigs. And this color is a brand new color, and it's stunning. Stunning. What do they call what it, Eric? It's like a midnight antimatter blue. Say that again. Antimatter blue. Oh, okay. So it, it looks black to me on everything except when the sun's shining. It's got blue metallic flake in the paint. It's harder to see when it's covered in. Sand. It looks like the blue <laughs> tuxedo that Steve Martin wore in Father of the Bride. Of the Bride. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that, spot on. <laughs> uh, I think that's where they got it. I said you'd be wearing a block tuxedo. Oh, it is a block tuxedo. I don't think so, babe. This tux is nothing blue. <laughs> oh, not about that. What are talking about? Our money doesn't make a blue tuxedo. Our money don't also make polyester. <laughs> he travels. Bye. Man, that is, yeah. Uh, um. Charlie, come here. Come here, Charlie. We're ready to go. All right, so we're packing up, and today we are going to Mobile to connect with Eric and Tammy with Techno RV. We're going to do some stuff with them regarding E3 camping, and then we're also going to go out, hopefully, weather permitting, boating with them in the, they got a little center council boat. And last time we swung through Mobile, we were just, we weren't there long enough, so we're going to, we're going to hook up with them and catch up. So we're just going to finish packing up here and get on the road. Trish, we, we good? We're good. Let's go. Alright, Charlie. Alright, Charlie. Here, Trish. Let's back up. Look at the egg is out. <laughs> we gotta say hello. Dude, a lot has changed since we've been here last. Yeah, I'm trying to get it all ready in here so we can have a successful fish trip, you know? I love the horn. Let the whole neighborhood. Yes. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, well, you know, those RV neighbors, those <laughs> RV neighbors have friends coming well, over. Dude, they're getting used to it. It's like a little <laughs> campground here. <laughs> Well, first of all, people pull in the wrong way. You know, it should have yes. backed in, but uh, well, I remember we, we, that when we I work all that out, right? <laughs> yeah. Should have called security. <laughs> hey, what's going on, buddy? Yeah, so, so man, you put a pole through in here. This is great. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I went ahead and put the rock on the other side, so I can just pull on through. Yeah, make it easy. Uh, this worked out pretty good. We uh, got a, we had a, had some drainage issues when we started, and we got all that figured out, mm -hmm. like the concrete guy or yeah. whatever. Yeah. But we got that fixed. So. And I can just, you don't mind, black and gray just goes right there against the fence. What's that now? I put the black and the gray right along the fence there. Yeah, that's right. Just right. Your neighbors don't mind, right? Just throw it over the fence. Yeah. yeah. Dad, can I? May I back up the truck? That's a long driveway. Well, what, what's your insurance policy? A million. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he said yes. Call Dad. <laughs> okay, not without Dad. You want to watch the driver's side along that grass line? Mm -hmm. That's what you want to stay, like, see where it is right now, about six inches off? That's the line you want to follow in your mirror. Okay. If you're good on this side, you're good on the other side, but I'll spot you in the other side. All right. And then you want to follow it all the way back. All right, okay. so you'll spot me on my passenger side, correct? Yes. Okay. I thought the other way was the other way. Whoa, 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 stop. Now go forward and straighten it up against that line. 
Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay, more driver, a lot more driver. Right. This is what I need to do to have a successful back end. Yeah, I need see to, what you you've got to see where you're going. Yeah. Right? Yeah, because I don't even know where I'm really going. Yeah, all right. Oh. So um, Eric right. said to put it right about here, and he said you get a little bit, you can get over to that grass over there. Oh. See your tires, they're perfectly lined up to come right here and stop. So in your mirror, look right here. Passenger. Keep going. Go, 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 stop. All right, we'll go a little bit more, a little bit more. A little more. All right, stop. Stay right there, keep your foot on the brake. Go about uh, like an inch. Okay, stay right there. Keep your foot on the brake. Keep your foot on the brake. All right. All right, nice job. Hi, guys, thank you. Harder than it looks going uh, 100 feet in a straight line, isn't it? It, it is. You know, my video game experience, uh, I guess I wasn't going 100 feet when I was going <laughs> But um, it was a good experience. And no insurance claims. No, no insurance claims. And, and you got the level. Yeah, I don't know what we'd do if we had to uh, talk to our insurance about getting another one of these. 25 feet, got a, the Yamaha 300 on it. I'm kind of excited about that. Yeah. I think it'll do about 58. <laughs> really? Yeah. Really? Oh, man, that's and you great. got your driver's license and for it, right? And I'm a boater safety's license. I'll let you lay the ham. Wait a minute. Is that different than a driver's <laughs> license? <laughs> so how often do you take this out? Well... <laughs> <laughs> the, the intent was, you know, to take it out a lot, but, you know, when we got here in town and just, you know, work and everything. Yeah. I mean, I probably only got like 20 hours on it right now. Wow. Really? It's gorgeous. Well, I, I love it. 25 feet, center council. Oh, and that's for the hydraulics. So those lower down, those are like anchors. They're, right? Yeah, shallow water anchors. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah well, I could uh, break it in a little bit for you. you, know, you oh, we're going to. And, oh, yeah. yeah. No, it's going to get crazy. It's got that big Carolina flare on the front, so it really kicks the hey, water do out. Do you have a tube by chance? No, we're not tubing, man. We are fishing and we're catching I mean, some. Why can't we do both? Kill, wait till you wait till I show you the pictures that Eric texts me of the fish that he yeah. promised we're gonna catch. Because uh -huh. I figure we'll cruise up the coastline. That'd yeah. be nice. Probably see some dolphins. Uh -huh. We might run into a school of redfish, and if we do that, we'll catch some of those. Those are fun. Um, if we can catch some smaller fish like this big, and then put them on a hook, and then catch something this big, <laughs> that, that, that 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 really makes things fun. Hey, hey. Techno RV. I think I need to we honk my horn again. There. No, no. Park over there? Yeah. Wait, no, I don't honk the horn again? No. On the left. Well, well, why not? Um, this seems like an awfully small mailbox. For This is where they ship and Everything get comes out of that mailbox right there. Really? It's nuts. How I don't do know. How, I don't know how they do it. That's what we're here to learn today. Oh, man. How does it get out of that mailbox? Of that mailbox. You think that? It's like the, it's the front. We just thought we'd creep until we found something. I know, and I'm the first person. I always get to come to the door and be the greeter of Technorby, so. Hello! You, behind the scenes. I know. Look, I already see one RV, like, must have right here. I know, What's yes. That? We definitely have a Berkey for the office. Oh, Those yeah. are awesome. Man, that's cool. Absolutely. Oh, Lord, so there he is. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what are we doing, right? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, how long how long were you waiting like I mean, that just for that joke? Yeah, I mean, I, it's, it's been a while. My legs are starting to fall asleep. <laughs> I tell you, how are you? Great. Hi. What's up, man? Oh, so can I put we my feet up on the desk Eric, too? Eric, you could. Missing, you're missing sure. your favorite part of the tour. <laughs> what's that? I have not shared. Oh my your goodness. Favorite what? What's part? this? Listen, you you haven't made it until you have this in an office. <laughs> <laughs> Only an R uh, an RVer would appreciate this, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Huh? Wow! Hey, you don't even have to put the toilet seat down because this is your <laughs> office. Heated toilet seat? No, not really. <laughs> yeah, you know, work up a sweat over here. I come in here and take a shower. <laughs> can, I, can I test out the chair? Yeah, yeah check it out. Well, I should really be on this one. You can roll around. Yeah, 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 yeah. They yeah, roll yeah. really easily. Yeah. Oh man. So do you know why I called you up here today? No, I don't. Why did you call me up here? <laughs> well, 
It better be, be important. <laughs> it is pretty important. Now, um, so I brought I brought you here to talk about your performance. Yeah, it's. And so look, the the, the feet up on the desk. That's fine. Okay. okay. That, that's an occasional. We all do it. Yeah, it's gotta happen. But you've leaving the, you've been leaving the toilet seat up. Okay, and I don't want to mm -hmm. have to have this talk with you again. Yeah, I mean it's it's a it's a habit I picked up you know a long time ago. <laughs> I just haven't been able to break it, but I, I will do better. I will do better. Well, I, 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 I'm, I'm glad to hear it because I really don't want I don't want to be talking about. Like how many how many warnings do I do I do I Well, do I, and then what happens after the? the okay, like, well here I'll tell you all. Because so, I might just keep doing it if, if there's if there's okay, no if there's well, no punch behind this. Then. I'm gonna write up you. I'm gonna write you up a citation each time this happens. I don't know if there are citations, but three citations and you'll get a quotation. Eric is way too accommodating to yeah, kill his humor. Way too nice. Uh, <laughs> now listen. He will no feed office, off that. The, no the office is complete. Off yeah. that. It'll get dangerous. Without a workout room. This was a big request from everybody. And now it's, it's, still, it's still a work in progress. I, you know, I've heard some of the latest craze was actually a room to take a nap. And that a 15 minute nap can really increase performance. And some people are installing nap rooms. Well, that happens around here. I don't even approve that. That just happens. <laughs> now back here is what our entire business is all about, right? It's customer service, right? Yeah. So this is like, li literally, this is where it all happens, right? Caleb. Yeah. Hey, I'm Evan. Nice, nice to, meet to meet you. you. Yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. I know, it's weird. It's weird. I'm glad I did my hair today. I didn't even get your slack last night. What's the number one question you get? Do I need a Wi-Fi booster or a cell booster? Oh, man. Yeah. This is fun. The next key to yeah. our business yeah. is fast, accurate shipping. That we take very seriously, and that all happens back here, right? Okay. Yep. So here's where it's happening. Yeah. All the orders come in, and they're, you know, printed over here. Yeah. And then uh, somebody's got to go pick them and get that right, and then we put them on the conveyor belt here. Yeah. And then this rolls forward to the packing station, and then it's packed and put on racks that's designated for FedEx, USPS, UPS, and then they come pick up every day. Okay. Who is this? This is uh. This is Luke from New York. And then from my boxing days, I I know how this works. <laughs> okay. Okay, yep, right. All right, look, with my eyes closed. <laughs> look at that. Ready for that? You have to have everything shipped oh, by two o'clock every day. I'm, <laughs> I'm not sure okay. it's first day in training. I, I get it, okay. And okay. then that's yeah. gonna yeah. be full. Yeah, it's all, it's all about getting you where you need to be in life. Yeah. And it all starts at Techno RV. <laughs> so, so, yeah, I this feel is like where I your really... life begins. <laughs> yeah, right now. Thank right. you. I felt like I was really sticking it to the man in there. Go With on. my feet up, you know. Yeah, you got him good. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow. Get messy. What's going on here? Yeah, this is this is uh, this is what you oh. call an Alabama crawfish bowl, yeah. except awesome. we didn't do the bowl. <laughs> <laughs> we had somebody else do the bowl. <laughs> Look but at that. The we end. Have, like, the end result like is the same. No, we can you, we can do this, and I always get extra because I'll just peel it and make like crawfish quiche or like you know because it's better buying it like this than yeah. it is frozen because the seasoning is way Trish, better. Chris, we, so we, we accounted six for pounds for you. Okay, this is when we ran the calculation. You, we, you were in it for six pounds. Mark was in for about three. <laughs> okay. Okay. Hey, where is this place? Uh, I think people might want to know. Yeah. Oh, it's the best. Uh, yeah. Yeah. DIP mud bugs. Yeah, DIP mud bugs on Dolphin Island Parkway. Best. We did this so, with our yeah. family, extended family in Arkansas. Should and they did the I need a demonstration because I've never done, you know, you crack. Okay. Yeah, that let's a just white go in. shirt that's like really, really right. No, nothing okay. is super All right, important. so the, the first thing you do is you just pop the tail off, right? Yeah. It just pops right off, right? Now you got, okay. a, cho you got a choice right here. Yeah. All right, your choice is do you suck the juice out of the head or do you, yeah. or do you not? Do you not. And, and if you don't want to, you don't have to. Okay. okay. I and I'll usually do it on about maybe like a third of them. I'll just, you know, but it's just the juice. Okay. Doesn't Hopefully. Feel that way. And then and then and then you start on the top and you start peeling it back like this. And then once you get a little bit off, you can just pinch the back and it pops out. Then you got Beautiful. another then you have another choice. Okay. Are you gonna eat that? I don't. Or are you gonna are you gonna pull that pull it out like that? Pull it out. Okay. And I, then I move. eat it. But. Now where is crawfish where is it kind of a delicacy? Is it mostly Arkansas and Alabama? Or the it's South? Actually Louisiana is where Louisiana. I would probably so say it's you would say the South. Yes. Okay. Hey, you did would... great though, man. You really made a lot of damage. Really? You, you did well. I mean, nothing like nothing like Eric over there, but... <laughs> and 
got faster at it. Hey, this is a good one to end on right here. Right there? Right there. Hey, you remember catching crawdad out in Lake Tahoe? I do. Uh, I call them crawdad, but they're called crawfish. Why, why do some people call them crawdad? That, I wonder. Crawdad is an acceptable name for it, but is that's it? usually not a southern it's name It's a western for name for it, isn't it? Yeah. Anyhow, but do you remember catching crawdad out in Lake Tahoe? I, I do. That, that is some good, that is a good time right there. You get some bacon, a line, and then you sit on a little boat with Carson. Yeah. And then hold it and No, we were under the pier. We were under the yeah. pier. Remember? Yeah, yeah. But we've done it like oh, we've gone the little rowboat and it's like you're moving too much and you know and then you and then you get oh, it. I and do remember like, that. The thing I really like about having babies do this mm -hmm. is I can eat about ten to their one. <laughs> yeah, so I'll just hammer it. Like if it's just me and Aaron. Pop it off. Yeah. It's like Making some sandwiches. That doesn't look like any old ordinary sandwich. Oh, good. Mmm. A little sweet potato. Yeah. I made a little, I made sweet potato with onions, mm -hmm. goat cheese, we'll put a little dressing, and then I also have little caprese rolls, too. Where are the finished ones? I saw some finished ones. There's finished ones. Where you, are they? You get to have those No, no, later. no. I see the little the bow on them. Where are they? Where is it? Oh, they're right here. Where? Oh my gosh. Look at that. That's lunch? Yes. Yeah, morning. We should... Captain Johnson out here doing it. Yeah, Captain Johnson, yeah. huh? <laughs> you don't have to call me that all day. <laughs> <laughs> Just half the day. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I saw you out here pulling it out this morning. Yeah, it's kind of like hooking an RV up. Nothing to it. Nothing to it. Maybe yeah. even easier. Yeah, get into your, get into your zone. Of, yeah. Uh, of all your processes, get it hooked up, and it's ready to roll. I told Trish, I saw you out there moving some things around. I said, you're probably making room for the fish we're going to catch today. Yeah. I mean, get, getting uh, PFDs out of the way that's and right. other fire extinguisher oh, safety equipment. Th that's got to go, right? <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Oh, man, that's good. Yeah, it's looking good, man. Yeah, we're uh, going to pile some ice up in it yeah, for all the fish. Yeah, 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 sure. And, uh, and maybe some drinks. Very, very well done. Very Thank well you. done. Thank We're you. not even out of the harbor yet, and you, you've got three layers on and a blanket. Don't be jealous. <laughs> uh, 1853, the Battle of Mobile Bay happened right here, right? And so the, the enemy was trying to, to lay siege to our fortress, and we would not have it, right? So we had, we had Fort Gaines on this side and Fort Morgan on that side of the bay, and anybody that tried to come up the bay, we pummeled them with big cannonballs. Like, I might have got the 1853 a little off, but that is... That is the story. That is the story. Yeah, it all happened right here. So it's wow. Like people still find cannonballs like in the like, like off the bottom. People go diving for them, getting uh, artifacts and stuff. So yeah, a lot of history here. Yeah. Oh wow! Look at that wake, Dad. Look at that. That's like wake. rain then the water pushes from the rivers and it'll be more fresh water further into the bay but when there's less rain the salt water pushes up and you get salt water all the way up at, at Mobile River. That's interesting. Yeah. Oh there's Coast Guard right there that's so cool. All right, you can put it in neutral. So the cool thing about this, yeah, it's got a GPS lock on it. Yeah, oh yeah. So I just hit that anchor button and it'll just hold us right here. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, it's just doing its own thing. I kind of thought we'd be hooked up by now, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <gosh. laughs> I mean, no mercy, right? None. None. <laughs> 
Relentless. That'll be the name of our boat. Relentless. That's pretty good. Oh, yeah. I yeah. like that. shark bait. Uh, so it's a mullet that uh, I just caught. Now, he, he doesn't seem to be doing too good. But uh, but shark love mullets. Sharks love it? They love this. Yeah, they love this. So I'm going to give it a cast. Um, all right, Eric, what's the plan? Oh, I'm sorry, Captain Johnson. Uh, well, uh, I have received approval from all members on board Yeah. to go for it. Yeah. So we're going for it. Okay. Yeah, we're going for it. I was trying to go easy on everybody, but... They don't want it. Nobody wants me to go easy on them, so... <laughs> we're going to do the opposite of going easy. We're headed out to the uh, oil rig, right? We're going to go to an oil rig. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we got we to gotta, we gotta go for it. So we, we uh, weren't able to choose the perfect day. Pure luck now, you know. What was I mean? it? What was it before? <laughs> I mean, pretty good point, but it, it's really down to it now. You know what I mean? Like the odds are against us. Yeah. And and but uh, you know, we're still fighting. Yeah. We're still fighting. I think what we're gonna go for here is, is yeah. we're just change the experience, right? So we started out as a fishing experience, right? And now we're gonna we're gonna transition it into calm waters and maybe just have a nice meal on the water, you know. Yeah, where are we gonna go find that? <laughs> well it's gonna be back that way. Okay. Where we came where we came from. Alright. But uh potentially that's gonna be the plan because I don't see anything happening. Yeah, no, I agree. This is kinda rough. It is fun and I appreciate going anyway. You know, a lot of people would say too windy, not air. No, no. Exactly. I do get credit for that. You do? Yeah. Yes, I should. Yeah. And then we'll uh the rapids might be for some. This is no. for me. Hey, he delivered, right? This is amazing. Eric delivered. He says, hey, you want to go somewhere super calm and enjoy the sun? And he... Have a little lunch? And, man. Thank you. Bam. Three crews up to It was a good decision, right? I think it was. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I, mean, I enjoyed, you know, gripping on the back. Yeah. Not knowing oh, yeah. Anchors down? Were they working four feet? Oh, wow. Look at that. Hey, look, we're 50 yards from the launch. We should have just stayed here the whole time. <laughs> or we could have just not brought the boat and just been right over there. <laughs>